Let's talk about weather. The 2025 hurricane season starts in just a couple of days and forecasters say it could be one of the busiest in years. As the threat grows, the agency responsible for disaster response is weathering a storm of its own. CBS's Karen Wah reports right now from the Gulf Coast of Texas. For the second straight year, NOAA predicts an above average hurricane season. Five hurricanes made landfall in the U.S. last season, causing more than $100 billion worth of damage. For the range of storms, we're calling for 13 to, nine, 13 to 19 named storms. Of these, 6 to 10 are forecast to become hurricanes. That number is slightly lower than last year, but hurricanes have been getting more intense. Here's why. Warming waters energize storms, and experts say the ocean is now warming at twice the rate it was just two decades ago. What can't be predicted is whether cuts to NOAA and FEMA will impact hurricane prediction and response. NOAA lost nearly one in five employees to Trump administration buyouts and layoffs. John Cortina is retired That's from NOAA. The cuts, at least, that have been proposed are larger than any I've seen in the 30 years I've been associated with NOAA. So they're quite significant. And therefore, the impacts are expected to be quite significant. And CBS News has learned the acting head of FEMA just rescinded its strategic plan, a document that outlines its disaster relief priorities. Adam Garrison has weathered extreme storms his entire life. Now he rents out chairs and umbrellas at beaches in Galveston, Texas. What's the revenue loss like on, on that side of things? Mm, yeah, we'll lose thousands for sure. Karen Bois, CBS News.